How's it going, boys and girls? MMK on Ambrew here. Welcome back to more of Let's Play Slive um, 4 Thieves in Time. Uh, when we last left off, we saved Ryoichi, and that's pretty much it. So without further ado, let's continue the game. After rescuing Ryoichi, we returned to the hideout. Unfortunately, it is there wasn't much time for here. family reunions. We needed to figure out what was going on, and fast. Ryoichi confirmed that the source of the trouble was the tiger we had tracked in the village, someone calling himself El Jefe. After some more database digging, Bentley was able to uncover his Interpol file. El Jefe had an impressive record. Over the years, he had taken over dozens of small countries around the globe, usually for the highest bidder. He was a ruthless mercenary and military strategist of the highest order. In fact, he once boasted that he could overthrow a country commanding only three blind mice, armed with plastic spoons. According to his file, this guy had mysteriously vanished a while back, just as the authorities were closing in. Hmm. Well, we had found him, and we needed to take him down. It looked like we were in for a tough battle, so we decided to start with Ryoichi's Sushi Shop. Reopen it for business. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, might as well go to the thief net. Uh, mega charge attack, adrenaline burst, mega charge attack, cane swat. Alright, let's go back to his plan, Sly. Alright, there is a bottle over there. Find out how to get over there to be mm. precise. Eh. Oh wait, all the bottles I could get, you uh it's the treasures that I have to use more than one costume. Oh, I'm technically not supposed to be in this area yet. Okay. And treasure delivered.
There we go. I'm not good at platforming games that much. Okay, Sly. It's time for Ryuichi to reclaim his sushi restaurant. It looks like the front door is the only entrance. We need to get rid of that guard if we're going to get Ryuichi inside. However, security is on high alert since we broke him out of jail, and we can't risk raising an alarm. I think this one is going to require some misdirection. What do you mean? I bet if you wore that samurai armor you stole, you'd be able to relieve that guard at the front door. Right. Plus, I just look good in armor. Please. <laughs> no one gets in or out, understand? I don't want any more problems. If I remember correctly, clockwork could be sighted about now. Clockwork! Huh. Sushi house. <laughs> okay, Ryuichi. I guess I don't need to tell you about your own place. Quite ingenious of you to use your sushi knives as door keys, by the way. Bentley son, I am a ninja master. Right. Uh my bad. <laughs> anyway, my scan reveals your sushi knives are still here. The bad news is the guards definitely have them. There are also some security traps you've definitely never seen before. Bentley son, though the bamboo forest is dense, water flows through it without effort. Uh, yeah. Just be careful not to alert the guards. Now get those dives and take your restaurant back. Hmm. I was unable to practice my techniques while locked in that cage. Let me recall the leaping dragon technique. First, I need to press and hold the R2 button to gather my focus, while using the left stick to direct my energy towards a target. Yeah. 
That's a big knife. Jimmy will be perfect. All right, Ryu, we see only one more knife to go. Oh, really? I didn't have to go through that? Is Ryuichi Cooper. It's just because his stuff is awesome.
I got the knife! Or excuse me, the okay. cleaver! One day, I will bring greatness to this shop again. Job complete. Yeah, let's check out the event. A lot of coins to, uh, a lot of stuff to buy. Mega charge attack, mega charge attack. El Drapo. I will buy El Drapo just because of it being named El Drapo. Uh, uh, mega charge attack and adrenaline burst. Hmm. You know, I'll be Murray. <laughs> 